It is that time again, ladies and gentlemen. Frankie Boy has gone through tens of thousands of comments for your entertainment as well as my own entertainment. And, you know, some of these comments are fairly warranted considering my appearance, my demeanor, how I go about things to some degree. Uh, so don't feel like these people are being to me. What's with this guy's teeth? Looks like he's been drinking Whiteout. You totally look like a plastic surgeon from Beverly Hills or Miami with his own 3 a.m. infomercial selling his hair and skin health products. All you need is a slightly more carrot tone tan, curly chest hair peeking through your silk button up shirt and some white dress shoes to finish the look. You know, this reminds me more of like a Middle Eastern prince uh, than a, you know, Beverly Hills surgeon. Uh, but I can see where that's coming from. Being mugged was the best thing that ever happened to me because I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I hadn't gone through that. I just feel like the mugging community could be a little more understanding. That's all. Being mugged is fucking great. <laughs> Uh, I think this is on uh, my Bonnie Rebecca critique video. Uh, she was an ex-vegan. And when you put any other word besides vegan into the context of what these vegans are saying, it's absolutely comical and ridiculous. I had to turn down the screen brightness. His smile was draining my phone battery. <laughs> In a stereotypical New York accent, Frankie's natural hue liquid foundation made 100% of the animals. Best foundation in the city. <laughs> uh, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, there is an ongoing joke that I wear makeup. And I do make my own hygiene uh, products like moisturizing cream, lip balm. But boys and girls, if I, if I could do makeup, I would have been James Charles. Frank looks like he lays down on the couch at night, puts on red lipstick, and crosses off the names of his enemies while listening to 80s music. <laughs> oh, I, I, could, I could picture this perfectly. I'm like, and I, it would be actually on a bed, not a couch. I think I would be like laying on my stomach on a bed, wearing some like bright green or blue outfit with like thigh high socks. And I would have these like comically big headphones on my head from the 80s. I would be like chewing gum and looking up like this. And then I would be like my legs, I would be like kicking up my legs in the air, like lackadaisically like a teenage girl. I could, I could see it happening. Frankie Boy could do it. What do you think about Himalayan salt lamps? Are they actually good for you? Only if you have them on a reverse seared nightstand. <laughs> uh, this is actually an inside joke. I don't like Himalayan salt, and I don't like people who reverse sear their steaks. These are two very popular things that everyone praises, yet Himalayan salt is not actually a good tasting salt, and reverse searing isn't the best way to cook your steak. Uh, so, just some people busting my balls, per usual. I didn't fuck your life, right Gabby? It was the milk you drank once, right Gabby? I'm totally not brainwashing you right now, right Gabby? Uh, this was uh, Manami Frost, I believe, and this was the video where the reason she was saying her daughter was missing all of her front teeth was because, you know, she drank milk a couple times <laughs> instead of the, the vegan diet. It, it's really, uh, really crazy. But Frank, what about all the historical evidence and depictions of our ancestors throwing giant spears at the running vegetables and melons? Oh, come on, boys and girls. We know vegans aren't logical. I see cat's brains when I squeeze my balls. <laughs> Who, I honestly, like, this, this was on a video of me eating beef brain. I just feel like some guy just wanders in the comments and that's what comes in his mind. Every time someone says the phrase mouse models, I get the image of a mousey doing his little turn on the cat one. <laughs> more like Staten Island. Uh, I've been doing a few videos covering some New York related stuff. 
uh, from Meatless Mondays to the Hot Dog Band. Uh, so very fitting, Staten Island. Uh, statins are a, a cholesterol-lowering heart medication, uh, for those of you who don't know. Doubt they'll ever find you with two to the back of the head because most triggers require around six to seven pounds of pressure to pull and most vegans don't have that kind of strength. <laughs> Do you masturbate to yourself while your teeth whitener and hairspray dries? <laughs> oh, you should start selling those gay tank tops you wear. Maybe call it Team Tank Top. <laughs> What's so funny to me about this is like, this guy had no intention of being funny. He, he, he was actually trying to insult me. Frank, you should do a bikini try on haul. <laughs> this is on, this is probably my favorite comment on, on, on this whole video. Uh, if you got, I don't know how many views or how much I would have to get paid to do this, but, uh, we'll see. Cacao can be quite stimulating. Are you sure it's not the modest 600 grams of sugar that's in the 20 dates you just used for that mint shake? Uh, there was a Freely the Banana Girl video where she made, a, you know, a smoothie with like 20 dates, which are incredibly high in sugar, and put a little bit of cacao powder in it. And she was saying the cacao was the stimulating part of the smoothie. Shaggy looks like he wants a Scooby snack. <laughs> this is on the... Uh, that, that video of, of the, the vegan fairy boy, uh, I critique that had like the, the Scooby Doo haircut. Have you lost your period yet? Uh, this was on my carnivore goes vegan day of eating video. And I'll definitely have to include some, uh, menstrual jokes in the video next time. This is so unrealistic. I've never seen a vegan make something with maple syrup and not use cinnamon. <laughs> Uh, vegans literally use like the same ingredients in every single, like it, it's universal cookie cutter. When they make a pasta sauce, it's like always blended up cashews with like onion powder, garlic powder. It's, they only use these ingredients because a vegan diet is very restrictive and plant foods need to be shipped in from, you know, all over the world. When Mike the vegan or any vegan in that matter talks about omega-3, it feels like a horny nerd talks about sex. They claim to be experts, but they never get any. Uh, this is a great analogy because vegans always spout up and down about how they're getting so much omega-3 from flax seeds, but when their shit looks like bird feed, you know, it's evident you're not digesting the flax seeds. We should herd the vegans like cattle. Given how much they shit, we could grow some mad grass. I I'm honestly curious. I don't... You know, the human digestive system is not as efficient as a cow's digestive system, and humans can't eat grass, but it, it, it's possible, possible, plausible. Definitely should be utilizing their large amount of fecal matter. I leave seared raw beef out all the time and eat it later. It just air dries a bit, that's all. Well, not all. I have to keep the dogs away, but they always get some, so... Hey, Frank, you look like a GI action figure toy. And you're about the same size too, lol. Great content. Keep up the good work. <laughs> you, you guys keep busting my balls about my height, but, but reality is you guys are like some 6'4", like ogre looking dude whose nose is like bigger than my head. You know, the Roman statues were not known for their height. They were known for, you know, being sculpted, uh, you know, my girlfriend. Why are you watching a guy rub stuff on his belly? Me. Oh, it's Frankie, the guy who I'm gonna buy the meat from. <laughs> yeah, I, I must say, you know, I, I started Frankie's Free Range Meat recently to, to get you guys high quality animal products. And you know, there is a little bit of contradiction here because I'll do, you know, my next video, I'll be like rubbing vitamin D3 oil and iodine on my stomach for nutrient absorption. So, a uh, little bit out there, but what are you gonna do? So you can handle a whip on your ass, but you can't handle being teased about it. Uh, in, in my recent video critiquing Earthling Ed, I was joking about how, you know, he just wanted some Tarzan looking dude to pull on his hair and spank him on the ass. And, and then some, some soy boy got all upset in the comments. And, and this is true. Like, like, if you want to be spanked, like, like, this is the thing. Like, these people want it two ways. They want to, like, they want to dress up as a fairy boy half naked on the street and, and be obsessed with tubular cylindrical objects. 
yet if someone makes a little stabbing joke here or there like and slaps him on the ass it's the end of the world he had one job be a bottom and he even screwed that up with his six dumps a day <laughs> Uh, th I went to a New York City vegan pride parade and this guy bragged about shitting six times a day. And uh, a bottom is a term co coined in the gay community for, for taking it. So uh, I guess vegans wouldn't be good bottoms, right? I guess that is actually a, a bigger issue. Because if a bottom was vegan, I mean, e even even when bottoms aren't vegan, they're known for like not eating dinner. <laughs> It's like an inside joke. It's like, it's like when there's two guys not eating dinner at, uh, like two gay guys not eating dinner that they're both bottoms. But uh, the the point is, as a vegan, I guess it would be exacerbated. Uh, but that's it, boys and girls. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you like this uh, and you want to see more of this in the future. Outside of that. Guys, please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's right next to the subscribe button and share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, just check out some of the videos I'm going to link at the end here. Uh, in addition, as I mentioned earlier, we did just launch Frankie's Free Range Meat, providing you guys with things like fatty grass-fed beef, uh, wild-caught salmon roe, aka red caviar. We have some of the most prestigious raw cheeses in the world. We sell organ meats, high quality, nutrient dense foods at an affordable price. That is my goal, guys. If you want to learn more about that, check out Frankie's Free Range Meat dot com. And if you want to support the future of Frankie's Free Range Meat, uh, placing that order now is great. Uh, you know, we're looking to do a lot of things in the future uh, from raw dairy and to even providing you vegan fairy boys with uh, some high quality plant-based products. Although I don't think vegans would ever uh, buy products from me. Uh, if I have the best products on the market, they'll be anonymous. Again, thank you guys for joining me today. Enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs>